Actually, the biggest area to focus on is enjoyment. Reading is something that you get to do, it's not just something that you have to do. Not everyone has to read novels, not everyone has to read big fat chunks of text. There's lots of kinds of books. It should really be following your pleasures, following your interests. I'm often asked about, you know, are you worried about books? There's so many other leisure options, there's so many things that you can do with your time. And I never worry because human beings love stories. You know, there's a place for video games, there's a place for movies. The books have to be as entertaining to them as the other option. And I think that books are one of the most powerful ways in which to convey a story. And that's because they're truly interactive. You're not just reading the author's text on the page. You're bringing to that your own perspective, your own experience. Imagine reading Harry Potter for the first time. You're imagining what that Patronus spell looks like, how Hogwarts is structured. And if you're seeing the movie, you're getting all of the very talented people who worked on that movie, you're getting their version of it. And so I think that for that reason, stories that are told through books, because we are the inventors of them, they really stay with you and they have a very powerful and lifelong effect. I have three kids, so the most important thing when your kids are babies and toddlers really into their teenage years is reading out loud. The research is pretty clear that having books in the home, having parents who read books, that's what helps children develop an identity as a reader. Reading to them is something they'll take with them for the rest of their lives. You know, and then when it's time for your child to, to read independently, a lot of parents will stop reading out loud and that's a mistake. You want to continue that, that ritual because um, it's really powerful.